Hi everyone, in a previous session of this GitHub Copilot and Terraform together, we were having an overview of using the at workspace command in order to get in touch with the repository for the first time, in order to understand how it works and to discover um, the global structure of a module. In this session, we are going to go deeper into the refactoring using the at workspace. You saw that previously, when I was doing the refactoring of the variable global settings, I was just selecting that context and asking GitHub Copilot to give a stronger object type for that. And it was giving an object that is now, that was based on basically the settings that we see here. We can go a little bit more and we see that the context is very important when we're doing refactoring. So I'm now asking GitHub Copilot to search throughout the workspace, all the files open in Visual Studio Code, in order for me to do the refactoring of the variables. And you can find that it has discovered a set of additional variables that potentially are in my global setting objects that I can find and I can use to define the stronger object typing. So now I can go back to my variables.tf here and I can add this context and I can say I want you to update the global settings object type inside variables.tf to reflect your finding in examples. So now we see that same thing. It will use the reference of this variable. It will use the context that it has found previously uh, and we can define uh, this object. Now we can also define uh, the attributes that are uh, mandatory and the attributes that are optional. So here, add optional attributes. And we can see that the object type here in variables.tf, again, is going to be defined. So now I have additional attributes that I discovered. I can just add the here doc for the new object. And we can see that the context, as much as the prompt, is important when you are using GitHub Copilot to do your refactoring. As usual, it's machines, it's generated automatically, so it still needs to go through all your software quality uh, checks. But this is an example of how refactoring is made easy and how you can improve the result using different commands of Visual Studio Code. See you in the next video for more refactoring.